Okay, so here we have the two spreadsheet. Uh, that's the evolution data, K data, I call. Uh, <coughs> and then we have the protein interaction network data. And uh, in this case, it's basically the number of interactions per gene. Uh, so frequency is the number of interaction per gene. And ID is the ORF. Uh, operating uh, reading frame in the net spreadsheet and then we have the in the evolutionary data we have ka ks ka for amino acid chain um, ks for uh, change only at the dna level but not at the protein level uh, <coughs> where well, i've named that this column is also the systematic gene name for each genes and our goal is to to repeat fresher figure one, which is the Ka regression versus the degree, uh, the number of gene interactions. So, but they are in two separate uh, uh, spreadsheets, and we cannot run linear regression, say run LN Ka over frequency, since they are in two separate data data frame. So <coughs> basically, we want to transfer the frequency data into degree basically <coughs> using uh, using the match function and our goal is to move the frequency all the way here uh, maybe change the color on my pen uh, pen color blue I think. No, you don't. Yeah, you can still call it frequency, but uh, it's kind of confusing. It, but degree is more appropriate term. Uh, it was originally called frequency because that's a default output by the table command. The table function in R give name everything frequency. Yeah, and so so here I I move it uh, after I move it to evolution data. I want to do regression. Degree is more like an appropriate term for this data. Yeah. So now the question is, how do we merge the two data set? And you, you can see the gene name are in different order. This one, gene 2, gene 11, gene 9. And this one is in different order. How do we match? I mean, intuitively, let's work this one out. So gene 2 should be where? Gene 2 is here. In this row, so so if I want to put a value here, I should go to the net data looking for gene two here. If that occurs, that will be a mistake in the second in the net table, because uh, there's only one gene two. If you have two gene with the same systematic gene, then that must be a mistake. Yeah. So on gene eleven, we goes. Oops, not here. Uh, it actually goes here. Sorry. Uh, that's gene eleven. Uh, gene nine. Gene nine goes here. And gene ten, it's here. Gene thirteen, it's not there. It's it's not in the net. Second one, gene fourteen also doesn't exist there, and gene twenty one is this one. Right. Okay. So basically, if we do a manual ma uh, merge of the two uh, spreadsheet, we have to put those values, match them, and then put, uh, and match uh, reshuffle match the row by row manually, and then we look at the, the gene two says, well, gene two is in this row, and that's. One, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth row. That's the fifth row. Well, this is one, two, three, that's four, and six, seven. So basically, we have to, if we match one, uh, we have to put this one, go to the fifth row. Uh, gene 11, we go to the second row. Gene 9, we go to the seventh row. We have to to put those numbers. Uh, 
put the frequency in different order in, by the matching order. And this is exactly what the matching function is doing. So we, we feel we, we, we feel we basically, let's say that our man, we manually say match uh, the rows in K data to uh, the second data sheet the net. And we by, by matching the gene names. So basically, how, what's the parameter we should write it in this match function? Again, uh, we, again we have to use the uh, open reading frame as our primary keys to match the two spreadsheet. Right, we have K data of oh, terrible writing, sorry. And dollar sign uh I have name. Uh sorry. I can't even read myself, so uh net, let me net dollar sign uh this one should be ID. Yeah, so the match function will basically do the manual matching here. Match the degree to match the, sorry, the operating frame here by rows to the net ID in, a cycle, in the net spreadsheet. And basically, this is what after matching function do. After we match k data open reading frame to net ID, this is what the result would be. And those uh, rows will be matched. Uh, you need to remember this matching is not uh, symmetrical. It's always matched the, the, the first one to the second one. So, the, so what we're getting is basically the, the matching position in the second uh, spreadsheet. And then we say, well, which one data, which, which uh, column do we want to move to the first uh, sp uh, spreadsheet? We want to move the frequency one. So, oops, uh, let's see. We want to, so we, ha we have to put this one. Uh, basically, frequency is a column we want to move. And frequency in the net okay. and we how do we call the column we use a dollar sign there and since the, the the matching function the entire match function is return the positions we also have to put it into a square bracket over there and this will be the uh, basically taking out the frequency and in the same order as in the match uh, the first spreadsheet and we so we can then put those basically here to a degree that will be the the first spreadsheet data. and then but in R we, we basically say k uh, Data uh, dollar sign degree. Right. E G R E. Terrible. <laughs> Still learn how to write with the mouse. But basically, that's uh, the this uh, does. Uh, oops. Uh, I'm trying to show the last uh, row, uh, last line here. Yeah. Basically, this is what uh, after the k data degree. If I assign it to k data degree, and move from the the and all what this combined on that is move merge the frequency from the net to the degree column in the first one, and based on the matching orders, that's what this command. Yeah. Uh.